Thankfully, I'm not sure why they named it the Foundation Spirit Award. I think perhaps it should have been named something like the Audacious Output Table Award. For all of those who know the recipient of this award, yeah, see there are a few heckles in the audience. Um, you'll know that the foundation that's going to receive this award has been a driving force behind um, conservation of our planet's biological heritage for quite some time. Its commitment to ocean and terrestrial conservation and the advancement of science around conservation and the improvement of human well-being as it's connected to the planet um, has made a marked contribution to um, the lives of millions of people around our blue planet. Through its Marine Conservation Initiative, this uh, foundation has been busily restoring ecosystem health and honing the cutting edge of marine resource science and management within three distinct regions. The Atlantic, off New England, coastal British Columbia, and the U.S. Pacific Coast. And these critical marine regions are the jet engines of North America's ocean productivity. Um, the West Coast, where we are right now, is our Great Barrier Reef. And it's a special place that's in need of special attention and protection. And by demonstrating the value of, uh, of our new ocean management approaches in these important geographies, this foundation is establishing an ocean blueprint for the nation and also for the world. So with complementary strategies in reforming our fisheries and in reforming our ocean governance through marine spatial planning, the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation's efforts are moving us towards more comprehensive ecosystem-based management approaches and away from the misuse and overuse of our marine systems. In particular, the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation's pioneering work in marine spatial planning has captured the attention of the Obama administration and now appears strategically poised to ensure that science and proactive decision making serve their rightful roles at the basis of our ocean governance system. And as an executive director of the Center for Ocean Solutions um, that's doing some of this pioneering work in marine spatial planning, it's a special honor for me to be here tonight and to give this award to Barry Gold, who's going to be accepting the award on behalf of the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation. And I can just say that Barry stands for the foundation, and behind him and beside him are uh, a fantastic staff of individuals who are deeply committed to our public trust resources and to the oceans and have done a phenomenal job of joining forces um, between and among um, the foundation um, the foundation community. And I think it's something that's special about the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation that they've done that. So now foundations across the nation and internationally are joining forces and working together on um, this most precious resource. So very thank you so much. Thank you, Meg. Thank you, Dave and Wendy. It is truly a profound honor to accept this award tonight, and I accept it on behalf of Gordon and Betty Moore and their vision, the vision they have for their foundation to create positive outcomes for future generations. The Moores share a keen interest in environmental conservation, especially oceans, and made it one of the foundation's three pillars when it was founded. In 2005, they and the rest of the board approved the Marine Conservation Initiative, a program dedicated to achieving resilient and productive marine ecosystems in North America, managed sustainably for current and future generations. It is the third program at the Foundation that deals with oceans. We also invest in science and in protecting wild salmon. 
As a foundation, our role is to enable our grantees to build towards the long-term vision. We are one player in the greater effort to stop overfishing, protect sensitive ocean habitat, and create a future where the oceans are truly valued for all the services they provide in our lives. And all of you here are critical to this effort. I was talking with some of my colleagues beforehand from the other foundations here who also support ocean work, and they are equally deserving. The oil spill disaster in the Gulf reminds us that existing management, which is reactive, focused on the short term, and fragmented between agencies, endangers this future. It's imperative that we work together to lay the groundwork for a sea change in how we manage our oceans. This includes changing the incentives that drive fishermen to overfish, and changing the way we plan for and manage ocean uses to account for the true costs and benefits of our action. For example, our grantees are working with many of you in this room to advance ecosystem-based marine spatial planning as a new approach to ocean management that can reduce conflict and ensure human conservation. Marine spatial planning gives ocean stewardship a fighting chance by integrating sustainable social, economic, and environmental solutions in the face of powerful competing demands on ocean resources. Like the Blue Frontier campaign, we at the Foundation share an interest in raising awareness of the solution-oriented marine conservation community. We believe marine spatial planning is one such solution. All of you tonight can help by promoting the solution and spreading the word and calling out the Obama administration to release the policy that we know is sitting somewhere inside the White House. So thank you. So again, thank you on behalf of Gordon and Betty Moore and their foundation for recognizing their vision and our grantees' innovative and hard work to achieve resilient, productive community systems for future generations.